Now the long part, it's a little bit complicated. Around 1964, we developed the first NDX laser. All it had was a single beam of light, continuous, a bit like a laser pointer, not very useful for medical applications. Sometime between 1965 to 1970, they developed the Q-switch. Now, what is the Q-switch? The Q-switch is a shutter mechanism that we put in front of the beam of the light to cut the light off so that the beam comes in pulses. And it's such a fast shutter that it emits beams of this laser light in the nanosecond range, 10 to the power of minus nine, and now we could use this laser for medical applications. What did we use it for? We used it originally tattoo removal. Tattoo artists taking pigment ink, using a needle, poking it into the dermis, and it stays there. Now everybody wants the tattoo to remain forever, so this pigment ink is designed to be too big for the body to remove. Just like if the stone in your garden is too heavy for you to remove, take a hammer, break it up into smaller pieces, your body can remove it. And then we discovered the same tattoo removal laser could be used for pigmentation, brown color. We tune this laser to brown, it hits the brown pigmentation, shatters it into smaller pieces, and your body removes it. So it was a very, very good laser for pigment removal. And we've been using it for almost 60 years. Because we've had it for about 60 years, a lot of papers written on this Q-switch, nanosecond, NDX laser, that everybody called Q-switch rather than nanosecond because it was just in front of the description. So tons of papers on using this laser for tattoo, for pigments, for all the medical applications. Lots of them. Fast forward all the way to 2012, 2014, about 10 years ago. They managed to develop this shutter to be faster. Instead of nanosecond pulses, it cuts the laser beam into picosecond pulses. In other words, it's much faster, much shorter on the skin. Fast lap, very fast lap, a one trillionth of a second as compared to one billionth of a second, 10 to the power of minus nine, now 10 to the power of minus 12. It hits the skin much faster. What are the advantages? There's a lot less heat, there's more sound energy, it's safer. It also has a phenomenon called LIOB, laser-induced optical breakdown, a good treatment for mild acne scars. 